This is Backtrack 5 KDE, and I know you guys have been waiting for this one. This is for the the the, the GUI login theme, and also the boot splash, which I'm pretty sure everybody's been waiting for this one. I figured out the login GUI, which um it'll show right now. This is just a regular booting splash. Yeah, should load up in a minute. Um, my computer's slow. Ah, oh, there it goes. <clears throat> Once it loads up, you should uh, it should log into like root and stuff like that. It should tell you log in the CLI mode. But it's nice to go into CLI, and actually, I like the CLI. But sometimes the nice little GUI is quite nice. Which I'm going to show you. There we go. See how I don't get asked anything? I go straight into this. Boot. This is not boot, but um. This is the CLI. Um, CLI. Uh, GUI. This is the GUI uh, login min, uh, login screen. Which I'm pretty sure a lot of you are wondering, how do you do that? Well, today I'm going to show you. And first, I'm going to have to let you look at a website so you can actually go back. Well, I'll do that later. Um, get the website for you later. Or I can just tell you the, the commands. But, um, as you can see, I have this neat looking login screen menu. Which you can change it to any other one. I'll show you how to do that. I'll show you where I got my login screen menu. And also the booting, the the loading boot splash. Uh, let's log in. Oops. And then it turns into this this one right here, which should start booting with this over here on the side, right here. See, look at that. Instead of the instead of what the backtrack got uh, developers give you. And I actually like this one. I had a Homer Simpson uh, login GUI, which was kind kind of nice. <clears throat> uh, what I did to make this work was grab the the KDM from etc init d um, folder. I grabbed the KDM from the from from a previous one that I made um, the CLI to work, which was from what was it? Backtrack four R two. I make the G, uh, the 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 login screen also works in there, so uh, I'm gonna log into go into Dolphin. Uh, always back up your files. You know, it's always a good idea to back up your files. You don't know how to back up? Go, go use Google and learn your learn yourself how to back up. I'm not, I'm not gonna show it. It's just ridiculous. My video showing over and over. We're gonna go to root etc. Then init.d. right here then we're gonna look for the KDM we're only going here so we can know it that it's there it is this one right here we need to delete it back it up first just go ahead and copy it and then put it in a folder that you like and then and then download my my file my file This is the this is the new KDM. Back this up too, and and just replace it into the dolphin. Uh, where'd it go? Hold on. Replace it with this one. Remember to back up everything. Once you got it replaced. update a, a terminal or my k yeah terminal my k terminal terminator <laughs> um you're going to type in update rc dot kdm my bad um default i didn't spell default right default
My bad, I forgot that D right there. And if you get this, then you're set to go. Uh, next thing you want to do is reboot. And make sure it's there. I'm going to just pause it. Here. And if you get this boot screen at boot up, well, the screen that I'm going to show you where to get. If you get it, then you can go ahead and log in. Like this with the nice looking DUI and also if you want to remove it just do the here let me just show you the command it's easier if I just go to a website you you to to uh, go back to CLI you know just use that the remove instead of the uh, the GDM here you're gonna put KDM and then when you want to go back you're gonna use this command again and you're gonna put KDM right there um, you might need to use uh, CH mode uh, where's my note you might want to use CH mode to make it executable so CH mode wherever you first you're gonna go into the file you're gonna uh, watch ah. you're gonna go into the file so remembering where it's at We're going to go into the file. We're going to uh, change directory over into the file. So cd etc init.d. And then, and then we're going to type in uh, ch mode. I, I, I had to use sudo. Some, sometimes you have to use sudo even when you're in root. I don't know why. It just, you know, it helps it, I guess. I don't know. You won't ask for, it won't ask you for the password, though. Uh, ch mode. And then you're going to put plus X, which is executable. We're adding the executable to KDM. And once you click enter, I'm not, don't see the point of it. You guys get it. You guys are smart. Okay. Now that we get that fixed up, you're going to get that ugly GY looking thing. We're going to go to the start icon. We're going to go into um, the start dragon icon. Um, then into settings. Then into system settings. And this is Backtrack 5 KDE, remember that. We're going to go into Login Screen. And in Login Screen, we're going to go up here in the tabs. We're going to click Theme. And the, the theme that I'm using is called Asphyxia. So we're going to go to here, Get New Theme. And over here, we're gonna. If we don't know how to per type in asphyxia, what I do is just ASP. ASP. And then right there, there you have the asphyxia login screen, which is kind of nice. I like it. I use it a lot. And once you get it, once you get all the ones that you want on there and stuff like that, uh, some will ask you to download them. You know, you can download them and stuff like that. Uh, you're going to go back. And oh, and, and you're going to scroll up. And then you're going to see this workspace appearance. You're going to click on that. And then you can click on Boot Splash. And see how, again, I have the Asphyxia um, booting splash. The loading boot splash. I'm going to get new themes. Click on new themes. And this is already pre-installed into Backtrack 5, which, you know, uh, you don't have to install anything. Well, just that little modification. And then, and the same thing, ASP. And the search, and you should get right directly into Asphyxia. So once you get into that, you can install it, and you're going to wait up. You can click close. And of course, you know how to do it. You just, you click up here. On the on the names and same in the login GUI, you cl click on the names, and you click apply down here, which should be the same for the other one as well. And if you you know want to get new themes and stuff like that, you uh click get new themes. You down you same same thing, and you know learn your backtrack. Go play with it. Learn where everything's at.
And that's the fix that I found out for for um for the login GUI. I couldn't I couldn't figure it out, but then I go uh, <laughs> I have to look at the init uh, KDM file, so you know. Sorry for this long waited video. I'm pretty sure you guys are happy to, you know, get somebody to tell you how to make your your thing look especially cool. Oh, and to log into the to change the background, uh, you can you know basically uh, put um p and whatever type of uh, image format you go into here and see 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 you right click and then you go into uh, folder viewing settings. You go into wallpaper and change your wallpaper to anything or 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 open or get new wallpaper. Is that easy? If you can't, if you can't figure it out that much out, and and you still can't figure it out in, in 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 my video, then uh, you're screwed. Anyways, this is Camera Mind saying, go um, screw yourself. Later.